Hello and welcome to Business Today Television on India Today Group. Uh, I'm joined by a seasoned bureaucrat who's also the chairperson of IFSCA, K. Rajaraman, joining me on Business Today Television. So thank you for speaking with us. Uh, I'm going to start off by asking you that a lot of Indian companies are now moving uh, to planning to move to Gift City uh, from similar jurisdictions. Does this favor and bring about a good uh, uh, regulatory pathway for them? Uh, see, uh, the the idea of Gift City is itself to, to look at onshoring businesses which have been set up by Indians abroad. So, especially in the in the in the financial sector and also in the uh, non-financial sector. So, our focus has been initially in the alternate investment fund industry. There are a number of hundreds of funds which have been set up in other jurisdictions which are focused on India, completely on India. So, uh, thanks to the good set of regulations and the tax policy that has been put in place, many of them actually have shifted into Gift City. I think at least I know a single fund uh, fund house has actually moved six of its funds from various jurisdictions into India. So, this is just an example. So, I think similarly, I think it's a case of ship leasing. And aircraft leasing. There are many companies which actually do aircraft and ship leasing in other jurisdictions, uh, in Singapore, Dubai and many other places. So we believe that there is a great opportunity because they are looking entirely at the Indian market. I mean, they are serving largely the Indian market. It's not as they, are, they may also be serving the world market. But we believe that now that the regulations are in place, tax exemptions have been in place, there is an opportunity for them also to move back. And they have actually done that. In fact, uh, uh, about 28 uh, aircraft, ship, aircraft leasing entities have been set up. In fact, uh, Air India has registered six of its wide-bodied A350 aircraft out of Gift City. There are eight uh, ship leasing companies which have been set up. Uh, overall, I think in the aircraft, I think about 128 assets have been now been leased out of Gift City, either aircrafts, helicopters, wide-bodied aircraft, jet engines, uh, and many other auxiliary power units and so on and so forth. Similarly, in ships, I think as of now, about three ships have been leased out. It's early days, so we expect that uh, we, we will work with the industry to ensure that more of them actually come back to India, I think, through Gift City. You did mention about a lot of uh, global businesses uh, wanting to move uh, to, uh, to, to, to Gift City. Tell us, uh, um, are there any new policy reforms that you are looking at? No, see, uh, the, as far as we are concerned, I think our regulations are constantly you know, being uh, I mean, uh, reworked on, I think, based on the changes that are made in global jurisdictions as well as in domestic uh, area. And based on requirements of the next 25 years, I think we will be reworking our regulations uh, to the best in the world, I mean, I think. Similarly, I think uh, we are also working with various ministries to ensure that the sectoral policies also support and aid and assist it. Many changes have been made. Some more changes are in progress. So we expect that, I think, uh, over the next uh, six months to one year, uh, in the, all the sectors I mentioned, especially the fund yeah. industry, maybe in, uh, in ship and aircraft leasing, we expect that uh, policy movements will happen which will enable more companies to come to it. One last question, sir. It's on the direct listing. What is the road ahead in terms of the regulatory clearances? So, uh, we, have a, we believe that uh, ease of doing business is very important for any global jurisdiction. So, while our regulations remain simple and, uh, and, and uh, benchmarked to the best in the world, I think the processes and the procedures also have to match in terms of timelines and in terms of the ease, ease with which uh, investors are able to come in. So, uh, the Honorable Finance Minister had announced that there will be a single window IT system which will be set up. So, the IT system is almost ready. Maybe the next month or so, I think it will be opened up, which means that uh, all the processes which are required for an, for a, for a, for a, an applicant to come into Gift City will be done online, I think. So yeah, You're also looking at an instant settlement system. Yes. So, for an efficient market, obviously, money has to move instantaneously. So, currently, I think we have enabled the payment services regulation, which have enabled entities to move money quickly. But uh, we also would need a, a real-time gross settlement system to en enable financial institutions also to settle instantaneously. So currently, I think money gets settled through the uh, correspondent banking system through New York, etc. So that is not a, uh, the, uh, the way uh, money should be transacted. So we believe uh, the uh, committee is actually working on putting in place an RTG system in collaboration with RBI. We hope that maybe in the next six months, I think uh, this will be in place. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir.